In this lesson, we're going to learn about distance on the coordinate plane. There's going to be two methods. The first one is using the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. The second one is going to be using the distance formula, which as you can see is the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Both of these will get you to the correct answer, but you need to know how to do both. So first, we're going to find the distance of this line, how long this line is, using the Pythagorean theorem. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. In order to use a Pythagorean theorem, we need a right triangle. So we can make a right triangle on this coordinate plane. Um, I'm going to make my triangle go up here and over here. So now I have a right triangle. Now I just need to count the spaces. And in this case, each one is, each box is only a half. So we have to go up two boxes. So this would be one, two, three, four, five, six. So my A is going to be six. So I'm going to do six squared. Now I'm going to look at my B. I have one, two, three, four, and a half. So my B is 4.5 or 4.5. So that's going to be plus 4.5 squared. And that's going to equal C squared. So now I just need to solve. Well, 6 squared is 36. 4.5 squared is going to be 20.25 and that equals c squared. 36 plus 20.25 is 56.25 equal to c squared. And then we need to square root both sides. Those will cancel. c is equal to 7.5. Now let's see if that's reasonable. If my hypotenuse is 7.5, that is the longest side of my triangle and it's um, pretty close to my legs, 6 and 4.5, so that is a reasonable answer. Now I'm going to use the distance formula to find the same exact line. So we should get the same answer, but finding it in a different way. So the distance formula is going to be the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Let's see, that should be a 2 at the bottom. We're not doing y squared, we're doing y2 here, okay? So we take our ordered pairs, and I do notice that there's an error on the picture. This shouldn't be negative 2, 4, because it only goes over to 1 and a half. So this point should be negative 1.5, comma, 4. So if I have negative 1.54 and 3, negative 2. I have x1 and y1 and y x2 and y2 that I need to label. So x always comes first in each ordered pair. So my negative 1.5 is going to be x1 and my 3 is going to be x2. Now I'm going to label my y's. So the y always comes second. So the 4 is going to be my y1, and the negative 2 is going to be my y2. So now I just need to put them in the correct spot, and I'm square rooting this whole thing. So I'm going to, here's um, how the formula looks. Now I'm just going to plug in the numbers. So I have my x numbers. x2 is 3, x1 minus uh, a negative 1.5. Be careful of the minus the negative there. And then my y2 is a negative 2, and my y1 is 4, so negative 2 minus 4. Um, so let's start to solve. Minus a negative becomes a plus. 3 plus 1.5 is 4.5, and that's going to be squared. And then I have negative 2 minus 4, which is negative 6. And that's going to be squared. And this whole thing is square rooted. So 4.5 squared 
is 20.25. And then negative 6 squared is negative 6 times negative 6, which is positive 36. This whole thing is square rooted. 20.25 plus 36 would be 56.25. And then we need to square root it, which would equal 7.5. So we get the same answer for the distance of this line here, which is 7.5. The label would be units. Please complete these two practice problems. On the first one, I want you to use the Pythagorean Theorem, and on the second one, I'd like you to use the distance formula.